united. Right now, the needs in our community are great. We're seeing families who are struggling and children who are suffering. But it's also time for us to come together as a community, to unite. I think for those of us who have something, to give back to those who have nothing. Here at the Inland Empire United Way, that's exactly what we're doing every single day. We invest in the lives of children and families in need and those in crisis. Whether it's providing medical care to a child who wouldn't have that, if it's providing after school tutoring to a student who's struggling, or providing food and shelter and counseling and job skills to a family who's homeless. Every single day we're investing in families here in the Inland Empire. As a case manager working for the Young Children Mercury School District, it's been a great opportunity to work with United Way. Um, it, one family that comes to mind right off the bat is a family, a grandmother with five grandchildren that had to overcome several items. Like when, you know, the father was put in jail, um, the, gran the mother left the home, so now grandma all of a sudden has five kids, five boys, um, has a lot of needs, uniforms, um, food, backpacks, um, legal uh, issues, so through all their help and working very closely with United Way, we were able to help them overcome and live somewhat of a normal life. The United Way, thank you for the kids' packs and snacks. We are so happy. We like the soups, crackers, goldfish, and applesauce. You have been really helpful to my family and me. There is a lot of people that need your help and I got picked. Dear United Way, I know you want children to have school supplies to do something magical in their lives. I would like to thank you for the books and pencils. We really appreciate what you did. We are grateful that we live in a country as United Way. We got associated with United Way to Kids Come First. Um, they were there for us. We were homeless last year and um, they were there for us. They um, helped us with Christmas and food and hotel vouchers. Um, we couldn't afford medicine last year and they, they got us our medicine. Um, they just have been wonderful. I mean, every time we go in there, they send the kids home with books and, you know, it's a great place. They're wonderful people and the United Way has been just great to us. So I received a call from a woman uh, asking for food. Um, she had an accident at work and she um, lost her source of income. So it was three children and, uh, and one of whom had a medical condition. Uh, their utilities had been cut off um, and their rent um, was passed, um, passed due for two months. They weren't able to pay their rent for two months. Uh, I rem remember it was in November and uh, it was really cold. And I remember asking her, um, you know, how are you cooking right now? Uh, and she said, with a candle. She didn't know where to turn or what resources were available. Uh, so I was able to find some resources for her to help her get the, the necessary um, assistance. Every day in our community, we're improving lives through school tools, providing school supplies for children in the area. We're providing Kids Pack, which is food for children in need. We have the hands-on volunteer program. We're replacing volunteers in the nonprofit organizations who need that help. Volunteer income tax assistance, the community voicemail, which helps homeless individuals to get jobs. And finally, 211, which connects those people with need with the resources that are available. This is really a place where we're working to live united, a place where anyone can make a difference, a place where every donation counts, and many small gifts make an enormous difference in our community. Give, advocate, volunteer. Live united!